Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my let's play of Blade Runner. This is episode 12 and we are down in the sewers looking for a way to get to the Tyrell building to help the twins out and I'm just not sure how to do it. I wonder if this ladder here, can we go through here? Did I miss this? Oh my gosh, here it is I think. This is new. How do we how do we get around here? Okay, we can go to this duct it looks like here. And we're in the Tyrell building. That was easy. Looking a little bit too deep last episode for this solution. This guy looks like he may be asleep. We can go over here. Let's let's walk over here nonchalant. Hopefully we don't get Yeah, he looks like he's asleep. We're in the Tyrell building now. There's something new on the table here. Could this be what the twins want? We can't go find Rachel or anything else. Looks like all we can do is leave. Let's just play it cool here. Everyone's after us. Well, hey, stop! Uh oh. Let's run back to the. Run away here. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. When my stomach stopped churning, I realized I had everything I needed to force the bastard to play ball with me. I knew that he would listen to reason if applied with serious pressure. All I needed to do was call him. To call him. There was a phone up there that we used. And we got a, a phone message from. Let me just... Let's go up here and see. Turn you off here. Is it this? Yeah. Been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the Brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. 
What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? We can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there. Alone. And you better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Wow. Things are really happening here now in the story. Let's go check this out. Let me ask you something. Hmm. Cooked it be. Damn tasty. I'm, I'm talking to you here. Let's go back here real quick. I just want to make sure I cleared that room properly. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Now we touch those. I think I got everything here. Maybe I'm just second guessing myself here. Let's go meet Guza. gun ready here. There he is. Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. Is that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid, those inset photos look pretty real. Let me guess, Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother, said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You could satisfy your blackmailer and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? Farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. 20 years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was off. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. I like to I shoot this guy. A lot has changed. I don't know what I want anymore. That's fine, kid. Just walk away. I knew you didn't have the cojones. Hey, I got you where I want you, don't I? Kid, I'm what they call a survivor. I've crawled through the sickest sludge of hell and lived to tell the tale. I'll be around long after they've forgotten that you were ever on the job. I wouldn't bet on it. But I'm tired, kid. I'm ready to turn over a new leaf. 
I swear to you, everything will be different if we just stick together. Mop this thing up. Come on, what do you say? I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Looks that way, man. You might as well- Who the hell do you think you're kidding, McCoy? You're gonna fry! Get rid of him the real hunter. quick. The hunter, he'd do us a favor, man. He'd bad us a traitor. Brother, you've killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourselves. First things first. You must decide where you belong, brother. Stop calling me that! You've wasted much precious time already. No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. And together we will face the tigers that wait in the night's forest. bus. Where is that, though? Oh, goos are framing me the whole time. I'm glad I shot him. He should be in the sewer. I should be all right. No one can find him down there, maybe. Complete innocent. Who knows? Let's see if I can get my apartment is back and go see Maggie. I'm a little worried we lost her. Which way was it? Was it down here? I think it's over here. Let's see if he's telling the truth. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steel is looking for you. And Bryant. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking. Not killing. I'm in a good mood today. You know you got some interesting neighbors, McCoy. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. Yep. If I made a mistake, shooting and Guzo. We don't live forever, do we? I always thought, I thought that the guy on the couch was him. But I guess I'm wrong. I wonder who that guy is. Let's go up and see. I'm not ready to turn myself in yet. I have the evidence. Oh, oh. So I say, well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipples surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished my way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvig, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! 
You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time for talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe. Walking along the darkened valley with silent melancholy. I would prefer him alive if possible. Not exactly the conclusion I had in mind. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but... I mean... After the fall... Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Oh, God. Wow. No. Someone's phoned me, but where's Maggie? Steel's It wasn't here. any mystery. And if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear. But now I had a little message of my own to deliver. Where's Maggie? Where is Maggie? Pick up. I see you survived. No thanks to you. Don't you think you'd already be dead if that's what I so desired? Talking like a god, Clovis. Isn't that a little over the top, even for you? Prometheus was chained to a rock and vultures pecked at his liver. I haven't quite had to suffer such ordeals, literally speaking, of course. Well, there's still time. <laughs> I'm calling to apologize, brother. I should have never recruited Guza against you. I just had to make sure that you weren't going to betray us. Guza probably thought that he recruited you. To be honest, we had a sort of a business relationship where our different interests converged, but he was never to be trusted. Not like you. I appreciate that. Is something the matter, brother? My dog's been murdered. And does that not whet your thirst for vengeance? Come back home to us. We'll demand justice and receive it. How do I know who I really am? Guza must have programmed you as an experiment to see if you could really act as one of them. He wiped out all your memories of our time together. As soldiers during the Phobos Wars, the Battle of the Gemini, firefights on the top of Olympus Mons. I don't remember. But if you dig real deep and feel, no one's real. It's a passage to freedom, McCoy. To your destiny. An underground railroad to carry you from bondage. We'll be waiting. I'm starting to believe that I am a replicant for the main reason that I had that dream of Lucy and I was on a different planet. There was a bug on my shoulder. The cutscene. And the way they could easily manipulate me so badly. Is this Maggie? And they killed my dog. She'd been shot once in the head. At least she died fast. That really makes me upset. This really makes me upset. And Steel, I think, did it. Because her cigarette was here. Now, where do I go to the moon bus? Can I get a car now? Your floor number, please. Probably cut off here. Destination no. locked. Your floor number, please. Ground floor. That really makes me upset that my pooch is gone. That alone, I will listen to Clovis. I think that they've manipulated me quite a bit here. I 
think the car dealership's up here still. And they tried to torture me and everything else. Decisions to make, I'm not sure. Can we pick up the car now? And what's steel gonna do? I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Oh, oh we I take that as a you can take it in Same old, same old from Crazy Legs. That sucks. Oh. Locked. Locked. I don't know where to go here. Keep your paws off that, Ray. So we can't get a car. Am I missing anything here? Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. It wasn't any mystery. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs. We need to find this moon bus. Where is it? Like, do I have to go to the police station now and maybe claim my innocence? station. How do I get to... Let's go back and see if there's any help from the twins. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I'm not sure what to do anymore. I've gotten all I can from that. It's all I got left is...
maybe go see the person in the Bradbury. Maybe he can see if we're a replicant or not. Maybe he can give us some information anyways. Help us out here. Locked. Locked. Oh, everything is done. Is our only option the police station? Starting to run out of ideas here. Here that we missed. No. It looks like we may have to go to the police station here. Oh, I wonder what's going to. ideas. Wait a second, let's... There's a weapon cache. There was a weapon cache over here. Can I get some bullets there, maybe? Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. Hmm. Yes, we got some bullets. Beautiful. How many bullets do I have now? We've got some 18, 9, unlimited. Let's use the high-powered ones, it looks like. Give us some, just in case Steel comes after us again here. Or if she decides to. I don't want to do... I don't want to shoot any... Cop, although I did with Guza. Which may be a mistake. What's over here? Oh, wait a minute. We can go this way now. That's new. Oh, jeez. What is this place now? Disgusting. Oh my, where am I now? You almost got away with it, Slim. 
And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who? The mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go on the machine now? See if you can answer this question. I guess that's it. That has pretty much decided it. She thinks I'm a replicant. She didn't even ask me for the information. Wondering when you make it out here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The maker built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet, ma. Human, too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. Clovis want to see you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself, welcome back. One happy family. Got to be something around here, man. All reactor cores. Anything still got to glow. The generator? It take almost anything. You got a protective suit or something? If I handle any radioactive waste, I'm liable to melt. <laughs> you don't need no suit, man. Your skin, it'd be plenty good enough. The maker built you right. Interesting. You got a protective suit or something? If I handle any radio... <laughs> the maker... You find me something for the engines, man? Not yet. Keep looking. You said yourself Clovis wants to see me. You're not getting by me till I be sure. Wow. Wow. Find something for something sitting right here. That might be what he's looking for. You for real, I'm thinking. Going. You see Clovis. He not got too much time left. Welcome, brother. We have very little time. I spoke to Sadiq. He's installing the power source right now. Excellent. And do you have something for me? DNA information? 
We have some of it. I hope it's enough. It will have to be. I've got questions of my own. No doubt, but answers will take time, and time is precious to all of us. It's true, then. You... we... we've only got four years. Yes. Of course, I could be hit by lightning tomorrow, but with the information Terrell gave you... Who knows, brother? It may just be enough to make a difference. He's a hunter no more. He has come home. It's time to go, my friend. Where are we going? To the heavens, brother. To fulfill our destinies off-world. Sorry about the ending here. When I tried to upload the video in its original form, this final song has a copyright strike against it. I guess it's the Raiders of the Lost Ark song or something like that. It said on YouTube when they were warning me about it. Uh, so I cut all the audio from the for the credits out. I'll just fill in what I was saying in the video. Uh, I was just very impressed with the game. I really liked the storyline and everything else. And I did look it up while I was creating the video. There is multiple endings and uh, different characters could be replicants or not. You don't have, you know, in some playthroughs where my uh, replicant was um, Lucy, I think. Um, she may not be a replicant in a, another playthrough. I don't have to kill Guza, I guess, and a bunch of other things. So the game is very interesting and pl different playthroughs will, will play out differently. So it's well worth taking a look at. I'm going to let the video play here and uh, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.